Santa Claus brought me a 350 EXC. <laughs> Santa Claus being a black leather wallet in my pocket. So uh, this is what I'll be racing this weekend. And um, we're running some new uh, IRC Evos. So those should work out pretty good in my mud fest. Yeah, it's uh, ergonomics and things are quite a bit different than the 690. It's gonna need some uh, risers right off the bat, I can tell you that. Pretty awesome. The, uh, the foot pegs are really, really high, so I'm gonna have to do that. I guess that's just the drawback to being a six footer on a dirt bike these days. But uh, it is really nimble. I haven't gotten to really ride it except for just a couple miles on the street, but um, got a fender eliminator here with some uh, sick ass uh, turn signals. Still got the stupid rabbit ears, but those will come off tonight. And then we're gonna give her a makeover. I've got uh, all new custom graphics and stuff for it uh, that I made. So we're gonna we're gonna get her where I need to be. Uh, got her regeared already. Uh, so yeah, just need to do a little bit of uh, suspension work this this uh, next few days before the race, and then. Um, We'll have her dialed in. All right, guys, here you go for the big reveal. Ooh, here's my new baby. KTM 350 EXC. Got her all trimmed out, ready to race. Today is my uh, first uh, official time on the dirt with it. Uh, got it all trimmed out. And uh, give you guys a little look at what I did here. So number one, it's outfitted with uh, some more moto type, type gearing. Uh, let's see, it's a 1350. Uh, <clears throat> Got some uh, IRC MB5 tires on it. Those are the Evos. The front one's actually not an MB5 Evo. It's, um, I can't remember what it's called. Motocross uh, Mark II. Sorry, if the camera was a little off there. So, <clears throat> got um, custom graphics from Decal Works all the way around. Um, Chirby's plastic all the way around. Um, these are actually Poly Sport uh, swing arm guards. And I have the wheels electronically spin balanced with these uh, Nomar um, wheel weights. Uh, once again, I got a sick ass racing blinkers in it. Uh, tail eliminator. Uh, it's Baja Designs light uh, with a Euro Euro fender. Up on the cockpit, we have Trail Tech um, risers, uh, steering stabilizer adapter. Put one of these little uh, little MSR mirrors on. It actually works okay-ish when you stick it down like that. Uh, that's where I ride it for the street. And these. Uh, Renthal grips here. These are full diamond Renthals. Those are from about 2003 or four uh, from my last 250SX smoker. <laughs> Funny enough, that was kind of before KTM had the 250 uh, four stroke. And uh, installed them, they were in my gear bag, which was in storage for the past, uh, I don't know, 15 years. These are uh, Cycra ProBend CRMs. Um, we made uh, uh, these shims on the lathe to space them out so they fit perfectly. They don't bash into the controls anywhere. And then these aren't, these are actually silver bars that are anodized black. They were sent away to be anodized and we've tapped the holes. So this stuff is all super sanitary, fits perfect, fits way better than the ones that I have on the 690. And, uh, yeah, I got the suspension set. Um, my friend has a digital sag scale, so it's dialed perfectly for me. Um, I have a ProMoto billet uh, end cap coming for the bike. It will be here uh, in a couple days. 
Uh, the only thing I don't really like is these uh, factory foot pegs. They sit up a little bit too high for me. Um, I'm probably gonna get the moose ones or something that set you back a half inch and a half inch down. Um, I designed these graphics from uh, Decal Works just to kind of go with the whole black theme. Funny story, the bike is supposed to be actually all white. I screwed up when I gave um, the dealer the part number and so I uh, I had given them the black part number and they give me such a killer deal that uh, I'm not going to return stuff. So most people like black. Um, I do have a custom moto seat on the way for it. This stock seat is like uh, like armor all. I can't stay on it. It's it's inhibiting me a lot. I, I don't stick. I got a pair of uh, brand new shift pants on and I'm just sliding all over it and I have to use my arms way too much to hold myself up. I already had a casualty. I uh, already have a, a dead blinker um, railing a sand berm there and kind of, uh, kind of blew it into the corner. You can see the sand all over the handlebar. But anyway, um, they're probably just a little bit uh, dry and, and broke. So anyway, it's cold out here. Things, things break really easy. Um, I don't know what it is, maybe 40 degrees. So anyway, let me know what you think about my new uh, 350 dirt bike. Um, it's uh, a lot different than the 690 in a million different ways. Uh, it's, it's actually weird for me to ride. Um, it doesn't feel planted to the ground like the 690. Uh, the suspension is, uh, I'm going to try not to exaggerate on this, but I'm going to say the suspension is 10 times better. Um, and this is, this is bone stock, not sprung or anything. Um, that said, when I'm, what I mean by that is it's uh, significantly plusher, uh, more compliant. Uh, it's, it's hard to explain. Um, it's real kind of uh, floaty on the road, and that's partly because the bike weighs 100 pounds less. But um, this thing, uh, it, it fucking rips, man. This thing rips. Um, I have a... Uh, tweaked on the throttle position sensor a little bit on the fuel injection and so it runs a little harder than it did and like I said I'm gonna open up the exhaust um, I kind of melted my glove all over the exhaust trying to warm my hands up but uh, so that looks kind of ugly but anyway um, yeah these this 350 rips um, you get it up I feel like when it starts to creep around 7,000 rpms it comes on pretty hard and it pulls hard I was down there into some really, really uh, sticky, um, soft sand. I was gonna record it, but it's it's real foggy, and as you can tell, and you can't really see it. Um, and just down here, kind of on the along the riverfront. But anyway, it's uh, there she is in the background. Pretty awesome. I'm gonna get going. I'm gonna get going and get warm. And uh, I hope you guys like it. Let me know what you think. Tell me what I should do to it. 